So here we are, Bimini K Circle, Vero Beach, Florida. Thought I'd give you all a little tour of my place, um, the yard, some of the things I want to do, some things I hope to do in the future. Uh, my trailer with all my stuff's going to be here. I've been here a week, and my stuff is finally going to get here in uh, just about an hour, hopefully. So let's first look at the yard. I got a really nice yard. Especially if they never put in a mobile home here. If they don't put a trailer in here, then this is great. Now, the people here before didn't really do much in the landscaping, I don't think. Um, this right here, this is a variegated lorapi. I'm going to take it and move it and plant it all on this bed. I got a couple more plants over there. Down there. Between it all, I think I've got enough to go all along here and then around there. Um, I've always uh, liked the Borgenvillea. I'm not sure um, if that's how you pronounce it. But I got a small one here. I'm going to eliminate that and I'm going to move that bush back to the back. I'll show you in a minute. There's another bigger one over there. I'm also going to move it, cut it back, and hopefully try to move it. I'm going to make this a lot more tropical looking. I'm going to, like I say, plant that lorapi. I'm going to move this. Um, I did remember what it was. No, I don't. But I'm going to move this more to the middle. Um, I'm going to get rid of those. And just put in, I can see some ferns, maybe some flowering. Not ferns, but uh, those small palms. And um, some flowering plants along through here. Um, we'll have to decorate these up. Like I said, I'm going to get rid of that. But then we go back here. And funny thing, I always wanted a rubber bush as a house plant. And here I've got one... Um, as a corner plant, isn't that funny? So, let's go back around this way. It's a nice yard. They come, they cut the grass, they weed eat, maybe they, they hadn't done it here yet, but they come around and cut and weed eat. Um, so right here, I'm gonna enlarge this bed here. And I'm gonna make that corner over there more natural. Like I'm gonna give it a bigger curve. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna bring this out to about right here. Can you see my foot? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it out to about right there. Come around here and just make that bigger. That bush there. And this one right here, I'm gonna to move to the back corner of the house over there. But yeah, I'm gonna line this. All with uh, some kind of edging, um, some kind of shrubbery, and have some lower growing plants and let these really go up. This is kind of odd here where they've got this palm in there. We'll get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that palm. But it's really nice. You can see. So, this is where uh, the biggest thing I wanna do. I want to put a um, kind of a screen right here, a, a uh, um, what do you call it, a, an arbor, uh, something to let those bourgeois grow up and give me some privacy right here. And then what I want to do is I want to go from that corner over to here to this corner, concrete it in. I can see a couple of... Uh, potted palms on each corner my new grill there it would go there and this will be a little table and chairs and a little outside eating area for when it's nice we could even put a little um you know a canopy that uh, a cloth canopy that we could take in and out so i want to move this back over there to where those two bushes i want to move i'm gonna move dig those up for now, move them and put my grill there. So that's pretty much the uh, yard. So 
So there's a couple plants of those bushes that I'm going to put on this side just to give me a little bit more, you know, bushes provide privacy. Um, they cool things down, although this is the north side of the house here. So, um, the east, east is that way. So this is the east side. The front is the east side of the house. You come in, it's got a nice little carport here. Um, I've got some of the stuff moved back um, for when my stuff comes. It's got this nice little couch. It's little, and I want you to remember that everything you're gonna see, put 99% of it was here when I got here. But I can see this being a little crafts table. Um, doing my jewelry on this table. <coughs> I'm gonna hang, have to hang something there because that is the south side of the house. This is the, uh, we'll start with the washroom. Here's the washroom. <laughs> and believe it, look at this. Two really nice uh, loungers, outside loungers. There's tool kits, um, ladders. There's even American flag, um, and there's a place for an American flag, but it hangs right in that palm, so I'm gonna have to move that over to here. But anyway, so you see I got ladders, I got, the toolkit's not great. My toolkit that's coming out is a little bit more varied, but there's some good stuff. You know, there's always tools that you can use, but nice saw, some paints, drill. The drill's okay, um, it's, um, it's, um, it's okay. Tennis rackets, and look, somebody knew I was coming. Um, I could see putting some little uh, eyes on that guy and painting his hair. Maybe some day glow eyes and putting them out. Freak the neighbors out, huh? So, more space. Um, this place really needs organizing. I believe I could get a lot more space. There's a couple of coolers down there. But I believe if I organize this, this is completely empty. Um, then I could put a little, another little rack right in here. And then on this side, I could put one of those hanging, um, organizers. You know, the tool, hanging tool organizers. And I think that would clean this spot up a little bit. Give me a little bit more room. Because I also have my own tools and stuff coming. I got all my rock tumbling stuff coming. There's your little path to the outdoor. See, so wouldn't it be nice? That was a little patio area out there. Well, I just wanted to show that outside because I never have um, um, before pictures of uh, what the place looks like before I start doing my landscaping. So inside, the first time you enter, this is your first view. And it's a nice little house. It really is. It's a little dated, but it is really nice. Especially for me. Here's the kitchen. Here's this. All the stuff, not the cat food, but look, there's even a bread machine up there. Um, a refrigerator, a good refrigerator, you know. Microwave, a cassette player. And I just want to give you a peek. And how well, like I say, not all this stuff was here. Funny, huh? Well, uh, not the vitamins in the oils, those are mine, but plastic wear. I'm not big into plastic wear, I saw that. Um, I saw that video with the pulling the straw out of the turtle's nose, so I don't really use that much plastic, but look, there's a mixer. I just saw that. That's a little blender, dishwasher. Um, all this stuff was down there. All this stuff. Everything here was here. Funny, hi guys. Um, be sure. Um, well that's my stuff. Be sure this is a little bit now. Now one thing I'll say, the furniture, some of the furniture in here is a little bit big. Even this counter here. This counter from here to over there is almost 30 inches. I think I could put a little 
um, block take you know a little butcher block counter here open this up make that a walk through and then still have a place over here for a couple of you know bar stools same with these chairs look at these chairs look how thick these chairs are i think if i just even if they were padded um padded uh ladder back chairs there would still be more room than this and the table uh, i'm not crazy about glass anyway but this one is awfully big i mean i can't even it's so especially for this space it's big for this space so i think uh just you know changing that maybe finding a smaller table would give me much more room a wooden table and then the wooden table would match that wooden uh window frame there here i think we need us a wine rack and then i got uh uh, outlet there for little rope lights all around. Look here. Look at all those glasses. I can make a drink in any kind of glass you need. Liqueurs, desserts, the whole deal. Howdy, everybody. So, um,. I guess we'll go out this way. I have the cats. Uh, I've had the cats out. The kids have been out. I kept them in for three or four days, but they've been out now. But I don't want them out while the stuff is coming here. So this is a nice size living room. I am I spinning y'all around? Uh, so one funny thing. Here we are where you can grow anything. And what do they have? Plastic plants. Look at that, I got these growing everywhere outside, and here's a plastic one in the corner. That's pretty funny. So, what I'm thinking in here, my TV that's coming is, of course, bigger than that. It also hangs on the wall. And there again, this is a big, oh, look, I found this piece of, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, anyway, it's the glass that I found that at the Goodwill store. Anyway, um... So uh, this cabinet, it's really big. It's got lots of stuff in it. And it's got lots of storage. Um, as you can see. Um, but it's big. It's big for this space. I get rid of it. Hang my TV up there. And then y'all tell me what y'all think about this. I want to take this couch. I'm not crazy about a lot of couch, but this is actually a pretty... Um, a pretty comfortable one, and of course that blanket's mine. You can see a couple of things that I've brought in. The sugar skulls are mine. It's also a bed, so I actually want to take it and put it right here. Then, you know, I'm gonna be the guy that you walk in and he's got the den, and it's gonna be wall to wall bookshelves. And see when because I got some books coming. I don't have a bookshelf, so I think I will have room for a bookshelf here. Maybe even a desk over here in this corner, or possibly here too. And then that chair—it's like an okay chair. Um, it's it's showing its age, but it's broken in really well. So I can see Mousy making that. So I think the chair, the couch comes here. Have one of those lamps where it hangs over, you know? And then the chair would go over here. And then, you know, you'd be facing the... I don't really like my back to that window for some reason. I've always been like that. So out here, we've been spending most of our time out here. I got that table at the Goodwill for the kids. And they like that. Butters is taken to these chairs. There's a couple of them he likes. Um, and here again, this table is way too big for here. I wish I had one of my grandfather's tables. His, one of his tables out of his restaurant would be perfect for here. But, um, yeah, so I'm thinking a, a long table here with uh, four tables. I'm going to put the kids' tree. Yeah, they got them a tree on the truck. It's going to go there. A bigger box for butters. That table probably moved down there. Because I'm thinking here, it's even got electrical outlets there. I don't know that they work, but I guess they do. 
But anyway, I'm thinking a futon, a fold-out futon. Because in the next couple of months, when it cools off, I can see sleeping out here. And it would also give me more room for guests. So I can see a futon here, a um, smaller table here, the kids' stuff over there. And then back into here. And then if I had the hanging TV there, this little stove here, this is a little electric fireplace kind of deal. I guess it, yep, it's logs, it looks like logs in there. So it can go under the TV and be decorative kind of. Right there, I don't know that I would ever use it, but does it really get that cold here? My friend Tammy sent me the smudge kit. This is from um, the shop, the um, Stanley Hotel. My friend, me and Nana went over there for the ghost. And if it ever starts wiggling around, we know somebody's around. So here's, this is where I plan one of these walls. Um, I'm going to um, put my chef coat and the... Um, uh, a lot of the letters and stuff that I've received over the years. That'll be kind of a memorable place. This is the second, the second um, bathroom. You know, not huge, but, but plenty well. I want to place that. There's one on, on my Pinterest page. Um, if you want to uh, go to my Pinterest page, there's an alligator holding a roll of toilet paper. And um, that's what I want to get for right there. I want to edify the place up. If y'all want to help me, you go over to my Pinterest page and um, it's Edi's Edi Natural Creations page. And I've got stuff, the Florida Gift Man Guide, Florida Man, and um, Island Life. Now, all three have... Uh, Place. If y'all like to send me a housewarming gift or help me edify the place up, this is the uh, second bedroom. I haven't let the kids into this bedroom or the second bathroom. I'm just making it a little bit at a time for them, trying not to make too much of a thing at one time. And this is a nice bed, you know? That's a nice bed. And then look at here. You got this nice closet, vacuums. Uh, I haven't even pulled that out, but I guess it's some kind of bed covering. More plastic plants. But this is a nice, I can see probably, look, Christmas decorations. There's some Christmas decorations in a uh, drawer too. But anyway, um, I can see my camping equipment going in here. I got a bunch of junk. But anyway, I love my junk. My clothes, I'm kind of going through them. There's some stuff I'm going to use ever again, probably. But, you know. Um, and so this is a master bathroom bedroom. The kids are living in here right now. So, actually, I've already put their water. And I've had their food already out there. Um, they're already living out in the living room. So their litter box is going to leave here. I'm going to put a big litter box out on the on the uh, porch and another one probably in that second bedroom. I don't know. But anyway, I don't like this bed. It's two, can you see that up there? It's two double beds. I don't, I don't want to get me a regular king size bed or whatever. There's um the kids' blankets. There's Massey relaxing. I got him a new tree. It was, what can I say? It was $20 off, I think. The bathroom is nice, big, look at there. You can sit in there and take a shower. Just have the water run down on you. And man, I'm gonna tell you, after being the, one of the worst things, there's a lot of great things about living at the ranch. I wouldn't be here. This is all um, Jerry and Sherry. If it wasn't for Jerry and Sherry, I would not be here. And I wanna make that clear. I should have made it clear at the first of the video. Oops, sorry, Messy. But, uh, that Jerry and Sherry helped me tremendously get into this place. And then Butters, for some reason, is being funny. What you doing under there, buddy? What you doing? 
He don't like to have his picture taken. What's wrong with butters, Massey? Anyway, um, so, but one of the worst things about living at the ranch was the water. And it was so hard. I never felt clean. I didn't like taking a shower because I never felt clean. And here, it is so refreshing to take a shower. I've taken uh, long, long showers. Here's my walk-in closet. Can you believe that? A walk-in closet. Where's the lights? There we go. A huge walk-in closet for me. Of course, I'll fill it up. It's already a half fill, huh? But look up there. A karaoke machine. Karaoke party. <laughs> I got all that, more sheets and stuff. This place is really decked out. So, guys, let me know. Comment in the video in the description if you like this. Um, I'm gonna do more videos if if y'all uh, like it. You know, if y'all comment, if y'all engage with me, I would like to do more videos. But uh. But um, I need for y'all to comment. I need for you to, to uh, look there, little guy. They're everywhere. Look, I love these windows. I'm not sure exactly how they work, but there they go. I love them. Cause look at that. And once I get the kids out on that other porch and I can open that other window of that other door, it really makes like a wind tunnel through here. But anyway, so I like making videos. They do take some time, you know, and I could be doing other stuff or I, you know, I do, I got other stuff to do, but um, I'd love for y'all to give me a thumbs up, share the videos, um, comment, tell me about what you think about some of my plans, about what y'all think about what I'm gonna do, especially that couch moving thing. I really think it'd be better to move it. I think all oh, that would give me more room. I don't know. But give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. Um, and if you want to send me, you know, whatever, then I will uh, I'll leave descriptions to my, or uh, I'll leave links to my Pinterest page and my address in the um, descriptions below. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think. Would you like to see a video of the surrounding community? Would you like to see a video of what it's like to ride from here to the beach? 15 minutes. Uh, what kind of video would y'all like to see? Leave me a comment. See ya.